AI has no place in writing. AI is unethical. AI is going to take your jobs. That's what I hear all the time, and it's really annoying to me. Hi, my name is Jake Montanez, and this is my self-publishing vlog, and today I wanted to talk about AI and my hot take on it. Okay, so in previous videos, I've talked about how I've used AI in concert with an actual artist to come up with the book covers that I have for my books in the Light Blessed Saga. And in doing so, that leaves you open to uh, a lot of crit uh, critiques, a lot of criticism uh, from people that say you're stealing jobs from other people or that whatever you're doing uh, is, is just going to ruin the market. And I don't really see it that way. Um, I will never write a book with AI. We'll just throw that one out there. I'm not going to sit here and say, hey, chapter one, I want you to write something about this. Let the AI write that all out and publish it as is because that is clearly unethical clearly uh, disgusting to me and never something i would ever want to do um, but what i do see it as is a tool now what do i mean by that i mean uh, as a tool it's kind of like a pencil it's like your computer it's like a typewriter it's like your keyboard it's like your mouse it's something that you can use to work with your story or to construct a story but never to actually write the story and and that's how i see it being used in the future and right now we're in kind of uh, the primitive time of not understanding how this technology works there's a lot of stigma associated with it and it's rightfully rightfully stigmatized uh, because of all of the things that people have already been uh, putting it uh, to use to do as a tool i've used it to construct uh, a template for which my artist could go and say, hey, this is sort of what the vision of the author is for what he wants his uh, cover to look like. Let me see what I can do with this. And I've got the pencil, pencil sketches and everything else uh, that they used uh, based off of that initial framework uh, to create everything that uh, they put into my uh, cover art. So I am not concerned in the least that my cover art is our... Uh, is AI generated. You can look at in my previous videos where I've shown what the AI generated versus what my final version was. And other than a shape and a pose of a character, there's literally almost nothing else remotely the same. So not a concern of mine. For my stories, um, I have played with coming up with uh, concepts and ideas, world building sort of things. And, and that's where I think AI can play the best role with storytelling is not to tell the story, but to assist, not wholesale generate, but just assist in the creation of a framework for a story. One of my side projects is a lit RPG uh, sort of concept where characters come from a particular world, three or four different characters, um, and their form of progression is to go into a dream world. And I wanted each of these dream worlds to be sort of unique and distinct from each other. And I don't have personally the brain capacity to come up with multiple different worlds for my characters to go into each time they fall asleep and go into this dream. And what I was thinking of, like with the unifying thought was that all of them would share the same original world that they come from. But as they go into these other realms as they sleep that's where their the progression fantasy uh, of it would come from and i wanted each of those new worlds uh, to be unique so i would just plug into it hey create me a dream world like this create me a dream world like that and i would pick and choose and look at those concepts and go okay i like the way this one works i like how this thing kind of flows and then i would sit down with those ideas and write the story myself never would i actually say hey please write me chapter one of blah 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 and, and that's how I see it being used. Um, it's, it's kind of like we're all terrified of it, um, but in the grand scheme of things, it is here. AI is going to do whatever we use AI to use it for, and the people that are terrified of using it for that uh, reason are just going to let themselves be left behind. And that's what it is at the end of the day. You can embrace the fact that we have telephones and then telephones are gone now we've got cell phones right uh, that technology was witchcraft when it came out video recording witchcraft when it came out televisions uh, a box in your room that shows moving pictures witchcraft 
All of these things were stigmatized in their times. AI is just going through that phase right now. And I, I think in the future, it's going to be more widely accepted. The older generations, my generations and my parents and the people who still have grandparents from my generation, um, probably going to be way less accepting of it. The youths, the Gen Zs, the Gen Ys, the whatever, uh, are going to embrace it and they're going to run away with it. And that's just going to be the way of things. Um, do I think it should be used as a tool to mass produce a bunch of different content? No, I, I think it has potential for the healthy use uh, of helping create worlds, helping to create concepts um, with regard to writing books in this instance. That's really all I'm addressing right now. And, and I think that in capable hands, it can be used in a non-destructive manner, in fact, in a very constructive manner, without diluting an author's um originality creativity their humanity uh that they put into a story um because it's there's clearly a night and day difference uh whenever i read something that has been written by an ai versus something that has been written by a human i'll pick the human story every time because it's, it's just there's no soul to anything that is written completely by a computer so that's my stance it's a hot take um a lot of people are going to disagree with me on that and i'm pretty sure that's fine um but don't let that turn you off from writing anything that or reading anything that has ai generated elements in it i mean there are things that can just be a name i can't think of a name for this can you help me with that sure it's going to be quasito boodle and you go all right cool i'm going to write a story about a character named quasito boodle and that's literally the only in, in involvement that the ai had would a person ever actually notice that probably not okay so you can disagree with me you can agree with me tell me your thoughts in the comments um if you like the way i've presented this great if you disagreed tell me about it thank you very much have a nice day